Today we're going to demonstrate how on an iPad 2 you can remotely log in to a server on the cloud and run all the features of a powerful Microsoft Access database application. Here we are on an iPad 2. Functions just like an I I iPhone. But in this case, instead of running the application locally as we did in our previous video, which I can show you when we log in here, this is the native application. Very quick to access data, but only can use tables and form tables and queries to access data. Instead, what we're going to show next is using Jump to log in to a remote server and run an access database from the iPad but where the access database is actually located on the cloud in the server and we'll be able to access the forms and all the all the rich features that people love with Microsoft, of Microsoft Access. To log into the remote server we simply click on jump and start our access database application. You see it'll, it, it fits, and when the keyboard comes up, we have enough room to easily navigate around. The, the response is very quick. When we click on, say, crisis management, the, the application is super responsive, very quick. All the speed and performance you would expect on a desktop application now in your hands with an iPad 2 running just on a simple cellular connection to a server located in the cloud. Let's, let me show you a few features of the application. If we click on Crisis Management Team, we have this menuing. And if we go to Rapid Data, which is from our previous video, which we showed how this would run on an iPad 2 and an iPhone uh, natively, uh, you, you would remember this screen. It's the same as uh, before. If we want to look at maps, you can open up a URL and it'll open up to, the, to a map. Uh, a little bit more, a few more features, whoops, a few more features with the, the iPhone. The, with the uh, version that's located on the server. It's a little faster, but basically it's the same. Except it's a lot richer on, on the when we VPN into the server. But any access database could be leveraged in this way and you not have to go through all the work of converting it to a SharePoint application. So what I want to do is I want to show you a data input screen. So let's go look at employee data. So here you can easily go in to a particular field, you navigate around, go to next records, easily go around this. Again, this is on an iPad. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? I, I'm just totally stoked about it. I think it's incredible. So you can do some data entry. You can look. You can look stuff up. Uh, all you know, it, the button. Uh, it's all full, fully featured. We can type in some notes. Can get get out. So application response is very quick, and there's a lot you can do. Yeah, there are some limitations in the size of the screen, but in but all in all, it's a fantastic way to get your application off your local server and onto the cloud. 
Thank you. That was it. that concludes our demonstration and part two of how to run a MS Access database application on an iPhone, iPad, and in the cloud. Please visit our website at helpforaccess.com and call us today to find out how we can build your port your access application to the cloud.